If you are in your 20s or 30s and you only have $1,000 to invest, then stay away from this one huge common mistake. And instead, let me show you three different ways that you can invest your money in order to increase your cash. When it comes to investing, a lot of people have to unlearn what they have learned. A lot of times I'll ask people, what do you think investing is? And then they'll respond with something like real estate or buying stocks or crypto. And the reality is that's wrong. Well, kind of. This is why one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they have $1,000 to invest is wondering if they should put it in a 401k or if they should buy a stock or something. Do not do that. And here's why. So over long periods of time, the S&P 500 tends to return around 9%. So let's say that you had a year that you invested $1,000 and you earned an ungodly 50%, just absolutely ridiculous gains that puts you in the top 1% of all investors that year. Well, how much money would you actually make? Well, 50% on that $1,000 is 500 bucks. That's not exactly life-changing money considering you just had a monster of a year for investing and it probably won't get better than that the next year. So I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can earn way more money with that $1,000. But first, we have to really shift our perspective a little bit on what investing actually is. Investing is not all about putting money into a certain investment vehicle in order to make more money. That's only part of investing. To be more specific, it's one third of investing. But what investing really is, is figuring out where to put our time, energy, and money in order to get more time, energy, and money. I'll give you a quick example on how all of this works in my head. I sign up with a personal trainer and he charges me $100 for an hour workout. Well, that's 90 minutes that I'm dedicating to that workout because it's gonna be 60 minutes at the workout and I need 30 minutes to travel and bathe after. Now that $100 investment is actually going to help increase my energy and my stamina. This is going to enable me to work longer and be more efficient with my work and I'll be able to earn more over my lifetime. It's also going to improve my health so hopefully I can end up living longer and have a better quality of life. Anytime we're investing our time, energy, and money, it's important to ask this one question. Is there a better way that I could be investing these resources in order to get more of these resources? That's one of the most fun parts about the journey journey of investing. You are constantly learning about new ways that you can invest these things. Okay, so now that we understand that there's more to investing than just stocks and real estate, let's dive into three specific ways that you can invest $1,000 to earn even more money. First thing I would do is focus on upskilling, which is just getting better at my primary money earning skill. When I was in sales, I was always making sure to take additional sales trainings, and then I would even read sales books and listen to sales podcasts. Spending money on additional trainings and mentors with lunches and people who were really good at what they were doing helped me earn hundreds of thousands of dollars more than if I wouldn't have done that and would have just been a mediocre salesperson. So quick story, I had a friend that was actually in program management and he found out that his job had budgeted every single year for the past few years that if he got this certification that only took two months of study, that they were going to give him a $10,000 raise. Well, the training only cost 250 bucks. So when he found this out, he immediately started studying for this test and then passed it. And then he got a $10,000 raise. That's a 4,000% return in a year on that $250 to take the exam. And the best part is he will continue to make that extra $10,000 throughout his career. A lot of times when people need more income, they immediately jump to thinking about what kind of side hustle they can do. When the reality is with just a little bit of time and effort and focusing on getting better and improving at their primary skill set, they can earn even more money. The next best thing that you can invest your time, energy, and money into is reskilling, which is just learning a new skill that is going to complement your primary skill. When I started my business, I knew a lot about personal finance and lifestyle design and teaching people these concepts, but I went out and I invested in people teaching me how to have really good video quality and lighting and learning how to edit those things. These skills weren't helping me with my knowledge on lifestyle design and personal finance, but they did enable new ways for me to be able to teach people about them. This helps me bring in leads into my business and get more awareness around it so I can sell more products and services. To give you a little bit of an idea, in my very first year when I was just starting off, I invested about $900 in video and lighting equipment and ended up selling about $5,000 in courses in my first month. And I wasn't even really pushing it that hard. So just on that first month, the ROI was about 555%. Not gonna do that good in the stock market. 
Other examples of reskilling would be things like learning an AI tool to help you with copywriting to make your sales presentations and emails more effective, or taking a marketing course about Facebook ads to help you grow your lawn business. Another example that a lot of people don't think about is around soft skills, taking a communications training in order to help you communicate with different aspects of the business. If you're an engineer and you need to be working with sales and with IT, knowing how to communicate effectively with those aspects of the business is going to make you more effective at your job. In this fast paced world that we live in, having multiple different skill sets can really separate you from the pack and set you up for additional raises and even promotions. The next best thing that you can invest $1,000 in is lunch. One of the best things that you can do when you're young is to intentionally grow your professional network because you never know how it's gonna bring about opportunities. Without a strong network, I can pretty much guarantee that you'll get zero opportunities from it. And in my entire career, one of the best ways that I've found to do it is by offering to pay to take somebody to lunch or if they prefer breakfast or coffee. After doing this for over a decade, I can check my email or my LinkedIn DMs and I constantly have people that are offering me jobs, seeing what I'm doing and willing to work with me whenever it is that I need to do something with them because we have a strong network and they know the kind of person that I am and they hopefully trust me and like me. So here's the process that I've used in order to grow and maintain this really strong professional network. So after I find somebody who's either in my company or working in an industry or somewhere that I'm like, you know what, this would be a really good person for me to network with for whatever the reason is. First thing I do is offer to take them to lunch or breakfast or coffee, whatever is going to work for them. The second thing I do, and this is incredibly important, is that I follow up with an email and I just thank them for their time. And I always make sure to include one thing that they said to me that was part of the interaction that was really impactful. The third thing that you wanna do is you wanna mention any specific action items that came out of the meeting. Maybe there was a book that they recommended to you, but they couldn't remember the title and it's back on their desk. Or they wanted to introduce you to somebody based off the conversations you were having. Or maybe it was even something like, hey, let's meet up again in a month and you're just sending them a calendar invite to make sure that that happens. Whatever it is, make sure you include that. And then if the meeting is over and there weren't any action items that came out of it, then just say in the email that you really enjoyed talking with them and you'd love to follow up in three months and then do this immediately. Go to your calendar and in three months, set a meeting reminder for you to reach out to them so you do it. Now that's one of the biggest ways that I have grown my network, but this fourth step is really important in order to maintain it over a long period of time and continue to grow it. And that is to schedule 30 minutes every month for something that I call nurture your network. Then all I'm doing in that 30 minutes is going down this list of people that I wanna make sure that I'm keeping in touch with. And I'm just sending them a quick text or an email or a DM just to see how they're doing and wish them well. I am not, and this is really important, asking them for anything. I just want to know how they're doing. Think about it. How often do people in your professional network reach out to you or even in your friend group for that matter just to say, hey, how are you doing? I was just thinking about you. They probably don't. And the reality is everybody's busy. So the fact that you are taking the time to do this is going to be really impactful. Now, there is one caveat to all of this. Not everybody is going to respond to you. And that's fine. Don't get offended by it. I had people that wouldn't respond to me for five, six months, sometimes even longer, but they remembered that I would write those. And then when they would write me back, they would say like, I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you, but I just want you to know I really appreciated you asking. And that is the thing that really matters. So if I only had $1,000 to invest in my 20s and early 30s, that is where I'm gonna put my money. We're using our cash to invest in things that are going to grow our income over time. And by the way, it's worth noting that data shows the most consistent factor that all millionaires have is that they consistently grow their income over their lifespan. This is the best way to set yourself up for long-term financial success and get a massive ROI on just $1,000. If you're getting serious about your wealth building journey, then be sure to subscribe and also go to the description and check out some of the links for free resources to help you out on your wealth building journey.